Hey everyone, Glenn Andrews here from glenn-andrews.com. I'm going to show you exactly how to get your ebooks uploaded onto amazon.com for free. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to go over to uh, Kindle Publishing, it's KDP. Okay, and on the um, on my post there, you'll see a link there that you can just click on or you can type this into your web browser. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to click on Kindle Direct Publishing. And, of course, you know, you're going to need to sign up, obviously, if you don't have an account. I know most people do have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And, of course, it takes me directly to my bookshelf. Only because I've already signed up with KDP. If you're this is your first time signing up um, what you're gonna have to do is just fill out your name uh, fill out your you know your social security number obviously so they can for tax purposes stuff like that and then you're going to you know how do you want to get paid do you want to be paid directly to your bank account or do you want them to send you checks okay so it's quick it's pretty easy and then what you're gonna do is just gonna click on your bookshelf or you can just add a new title. So let me just go here, since I've just started this. And we scroll down here, and these are the two books that I have. And let me just show you this one, since I've already, um, this has already been live, but since I uh, was going through this earlier, when I was making up this post, I uh, it's back to a draft now, so I gotta wait for that to be published. It doesn't take long to be published, usually 12 to 24 hours. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. I mean, just read through this and go through it step by step, but I'll walk you through it real quick. Okay, the t here's the title of my book, but you can read through this and decide if you wanna get involved in the uh, KDP Select. Um, but what you're going to do here on number one is enter your book details and you're going to enter the title of your of your book. Okay, whatever that is. Mine's Website SEO and Massive Traffic. Um, and then you're going to choose if this is part of a series or what, you know, what part of the series is it. Volume 2, 3, 4. Uh, if you have an edition number, you're going to put it here. Then make your description here, and in my description I also try to put in the keywords as well, just so uh, people can find it online when they're searching, even not even in the uh, Amazon bookstore, but if they're searching online it'll come up. Okay, book contributors, if you have several people who contributed to your book, you can add as many as you want. Obviously I'm just the single author, so I put my name here. Um, you're going to choose your language, the publication date of your book. Um, this is your publisher as well. And if you have an ISBN, okay? If not, leave these blank. Don't worry about them. Okay, number two is your verifying your publishing rights. Okay? If for most of you who are publishing your own book, this is not a public domain work. Okay, so you'll click the second one here. If this is somebody else's work that you're uh, publishing, then you'll click this is a public domain. Number three, you're going to target your book customers, okay, by category, okay, and you get to choose two categories. So you just click on add categories, and then it'll take you through, and you choose the best categories that fit your book. And then right below that, you're going to be able to add up to seven keywords. Okay, make sure your keywords are very specific towards this specific book that you, you've written here. Okay, then four, you're just going to upload your book cover. As you can see, it's fairly blurry here, but when I looked at it inside the Amazon store when it went live, it was fine. Same with my other book. Okay, so it might look a little blurry. Don't worry about that. Okay, your image 
you can just pull it up here and you're set to go it doesn't I think it crops it for you so you don't have to worry about size or anything and then you're gonna upload your book file now here's where it can be a little difficult for some people because I know a lot of you already have your books in the PDF I did as well um, and I had a lot of graphics in this book and I had step-by-step -step, I had a lot of arrows I had a lot of information taking people through the SEO process so when I did upload this through a PDF I even tried it through a word doc which they say works and I guess it probably would work pretty well um, but it doesn't it's not gonna do the thing it's not gonna do what you want it to do it has to be in a Mobi file or a Kindle 8 file okay which is kinda like an HTML file if you don't know what a Mobi file is or a Kindle 8 or you don't know how to um, get your PDF or your Word doc uh, file um, transmitted into a Mobi file I did mine for fifteen dollars when I went to Odesk and this girl did a great job on it so if you want that information you want to know who I use just email me in the comment section below and I'd be happy to pass that on to you um, but it's easy she'll do all of it for you she'll format it she'll set it up properly so it can be viewed on a Kindle reader on an ink reader okay then once it's uploaded you're gonna go ahead and preview it and this is gonna tell you if if uh, if your books formatted right or not okay because if your uh, all your graphics are all over the place or if your text isn't right um, you're gonna have to uh, have somebody reformat it for you okay it's quick it's easy it's inexpensive if you go through Odesk or through one of those uh, Elance Odesk or one of those providers and then of course you're just gonna click and save this gives you all the information on the Kindle 8 format and stuff like that but click and save and then we're over here to your verify your publishing territories okay of course you're gonna want worldwide rights unless you're you want to do a specific territory and then you're gonna choose your royalties okay if you choose 35 percent then you can charge whatever you want to charge for your book if you want 70 percent royalties Amazon is suggesting you charge between 299 and 999 okay so just keep that be aware of that <clears throat> and then you're just gonna just check these off here and it'll format the prices for you okay so you don't have to figure all that out by yourself and then of course pretty simple you just come down here click save and then click the save and publish and you're all set that's it that's all you need to know if you have any questions or comments leave them below if you want more great information on building a business that pays you go to my website at glenn-andrews.com and I hope to talk to you soon take care